Hello everybody. In this video I want to talk about technique MLPA. MLPA is just like the OLA PCR technique. But the difference between these two techniques is that OLA technique is designed for detecting point mutation but MLPA in the same manner and in the same steps could detect just deletions as I mentioned in another video for detecting a point mutation in OLA PCR we have a pair of props that both of them are fully matched to the normal allele but they are not fully matched to the mutant allele in this case, we have a T nucleotide at the three prime of one of the probes that could detect the mutation and could not attach to a mutant allele. As you know, and I mentioned in a video, after adding the props to the alleles we add ligase enzyme that could attach a pair of probes on the normal allele together but it is unable to attach the props on a mutant allele because of this mismatch the steps are the same in MLPA technique but in MLPA we have a white type allele and a mutant type allele with a deletion so in this technique we design the probes just in the region of the deletion so if we have a white type allele the probes have the room to attach to the allele and the ligase could attach them to each other and could produce a unified template for the next PCR step but in the mutant allele there is no the target sequence for probes to attach so we cannot have a unified PCR template and as I mentioned in OLA technique video if we don't have a unified probe so we don't have a uh, fluently labeled PCR product and we could detect the mutations and the genotype of samples by comparing them in the amount and size of PCR products by a healthy control person. I recommend that you to uh, see the vi that video about OLA PCR because uh, it's a good and informative video and you can uh, realize both of the OLA and MLA MLPA piece, uh, technique by that video.